Hey, what is up? My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at one of the smallest and brightest lights I have ever reviewed. This is the Luxley Cello. So in the age of giant LED panels and HMIs and all these kind of giant lights where we're always trying to get a bigger, better source to get smoother and smoother light, is there room for a small, bright, versatile um, light in your kit? Uh, I would say absolutely. Um, this thing is great. I've had it for a couple of months now. I saw it first saw it at NAB. For what it does, it's amazing value. It can be battery powered off a... Um, Sony MP star battery. You can use pretty much all the power supplies that come with your external hard drives. And if you're like me, you have a couple of dozen of those. What's so special about this light? I mean, in these smaller units, we're starting to see these all these new features that then may go on to be incorporated into larger, um, more expensive units. Like a lot of high-end LED screens are starting to come with, it has its own little uh, LCD on the back where it tells you um, how much power is left, how much, what the color temperature is. The bottom, the bottom thing controls your brightness and then the top one controls the exact color that you want. So you can go through the whole spectrum like that. You can go through white light to tungsten. You can also go through the presets, um, which are popular diffusions like uh, special steel blue, cornflower, um, dark green, fluorescent green, all these kind of things. And if we look at the front of this, and I'll turn it all the way down so that we can see what's happening. Each light LED site actually contains a daylight LED, a tungsten LED, a red, a green, and a blue LED. So unlike the kind of previous generation of LEDs that had different um, modes, like they had one set for tungsten and another set for colors, the tungsten and the daylight were quite bright comparatively, but the RGB was sort of just a mode thrown in there and you could sort of send a splash of color up, but you couldn't really illuminate much with it. On the cello, that is super, super bright. So say, you know, I usually have my blue cast here in the background. It's on 16, if I turn this all the way up to 100 and put it behind me, you'll see how I'm really easily able to add an entire wash um, to a dark background to get that color contrast. And this is what I've been using this light for, especially when it's, you know, that thin and this small and you can just put it in your camera bag and have all these options. Um, the other thing it's awesome for and I've been using it a lot is as an eye light. So I have my um, overhead light bank here, which is my key. Um, and if I add, you know, this light down here, sort of at the same place on the same angle, what I'm able to do is fill in the shadows created by the key and sort of get a bounce light, which gives this nice little eye light and also um, gives extra illumination. The light also comes with a iPhone and Android app that you can use to select the exact color you want. Um, we used this on a Buster Rhymes Dorito spot that uh, I shot last week um, because the Doritos, um, packet is a very specific color of purple um, for the blaze flavor. So we're able to, you know, get on the app, dial the exact purple in for the client and use that as our background fill. And, you know, the client was over the moon because they got their precise purple. The normal way you do that is to gel the lights, but um, Roscoe does not sell a Doritos purple gel. We were able to get it exactly what the client wanted. They were able to see it in camera um, with this kind of technology where you can select the exact color you want. Downside of having such an awesome um, universal light like this is that it's expensive um, comparatively to what else is out, is out there on the market. Um, if you're an indie filmmaker or you're just someone who's, um, uh, you know, price conscious when it comes to lights, this might not be the one for you. Um, this is sort of like the, the Rolls Royce of small LEDs. But for professional filmmakers and people who are doing, you know, the kind of thing I did last week where you needed an exact color um, to fill out a background, this did just as good a job as we had if we'd bought a $3,000 Kino or Sky Panel for that exact, you know, filling in the background. This was plenty bright for what it had to do, and it's only $400. Something people asked with the last light review I did was what the throw looks like. I'm about uh, five feet from this V-flat, and you can see that it's it's pr still pretty directional. The reason for that is this um, textured pattern on the front. This is what quite a few LED manufacturers are doing, but not everyone's doing it this well. It's a sort of individual lens that's, that sits over every site 
of the LEDs and acts as a magnifying glass to, rather than let the light go in every direction, to focus the beam and focus it forwards. This is a, this light at a three feet, one meter is about a thousand lux. So a hundred and something um, foot candles. At the end of the day, for me, a light like this is all about um, versatility and giving me options. Last week, I had no idea that we were gonna need a very specific color purple um, for the client um, on a shoot. But just the fact that I had this in my camera bag meant that we could you know, come away looking like an absolute hero for them. Build quality is really great on these. They're actually made in Norway, uh, which is the first light I've ever seen do that. An awesome, um, great Swiss Army knife of a, of a LED panel. That's my review of the Luxley Cello. Um, Leave your questions in the comments, I'll help if I can. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time.